guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to install Linux on a USB drive. So uh, you can use this on any computer as like a little workstation. Now most people when you would say that install Ubuntu on a USB stick, you may be thinking like live Ubuntu where you install it onto a hard drive from the USB stick. I mean like proper full Linux on here, so kind of like, you know, you could install programs or that, use it with different computers. So here's how to do it. So to do this you'll need obviously a um, USB drive to install Linux to and you will you would want to have this uh, at least 32 gigabytes because it will fill up a bit too quickly if you don't have 32 gigabytes also you could use a usb um, hard drive that's pretty good because that's got a lot of speed as well if you do get a usb uh, stick you want to make sure that it's kind of like a good quality so you want like a high read and write speed this one's really high it's 120 megabits per second read and write but you know i'd say um you could go a lot lower than that if you really want to so you will also need another usb drive anything will do or a sd card to uh to install to install linux so what you need to do is are uh, these links are in the description you need to download ubuntu so just click download and you can donate but if you don't want to you can just click not now take me to the download and then just choose where you want to save that so i've already got it so i'll cancel that you also need to download Rufus uh, to copy the file, so you can just download uh, one of these, just click here. And then, okay, so once you have got them, what you need to do is you need to open up Rufus and where have you downloaded it to. And then you need to just go on uh, Windows Explorer and check the... Uh, you know the USB drive that you don't want to install Linux to the other one or the SD card You want to check that what the drive letter is this one's G So I'll just select drive G. It's the only one in at the moment They just want to leave all of this the same or if it's different just change it to what mine is and Then you want to click this button here and you want to select the Ubuntu um disk image file you just downloaded so just click that and click open and then you want to just make sure everything's the same as mine is and click start and then then you want to click yes and if it pops up with this just click right iso image mode and then click ok Okay, this may take a while, but I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so now I have finished copying the Ubuntu installation files to the USB drive that I'm not installing the actual Ubuntu on. So that's finished copying, and I put it's um, I put this USB drive in a different computer, but you don't have to put it in a different one. And this one is the one I want to install Ubuntu 2, that is 32 gigabytes. So, next we need to boot off this USB drive. So, I'm just going to show you how to do that on your computer. So, before you power on your computer, you need to just be like aware of how to get the boot pop-up menu. So, you can check your your sorry your computer's manual or it might say in the corner like there that bottom left corner or if you have like loads of text pop up on your screen when you boot it may say like just press this key to to um to have the boot pop up menu or if not just try any of all of the function keys and the delete key maybe as well 
So now I'm going to power on my PC. Um, you'll see in the bottom left corner it will say all the options it says press F11 for boot menu so just keep pressing F11 until this screen pops up right here so this will show all the devices on your computer that you could boot off so the SATA one is your internal hard drive and then the USB ones are the two USB sticks so uh, use these arrow keys to like select and then enter to uh select no, sorry enter like to oh it doesn't matter so these two usb generic this usb generic and the usb sand disk are the two usb drives so if you don't know which one's which just try one of them and see if it does what the what my computer does so from trial and error know i know that this one is the right one to select but if you don't know just try both of them and see what happens so i've just selected that now and as you can see it comes up with this ubuntu boot screen so if it comes up with that you know you've got the right usb drive if it's not just shut the computer down and try again okay so now i have booted up the ubuntu live usb so we just need to select uh, install ubuntu you can try ubuntu though but just select install and it will say install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware flash mp3 and other media i would select this so we'll just select that and hit continue okay so now it will say uh where you want to install it so here it says uh install ubuntu alongside windows 8 so you don't want to do that because well you just don't want to do that and then sorry about the focus and then below that it says erase disk and install ubuntu but obviously you don't want to erase your disk so instead you will want to select something else so select that and click continue now here it looks a bit advanced but just listen to me and make sure you follow these steps exactly how i tell you so you will see dev slash sda and dev slash sdc the sdc is your um the drive that you want to install ubuntu to the other one is your internal disk so don't mess with that so on here you will see the partition already created on the um on the usb drive that you want to install ubuntu to so you will see the partition below it and there may be more partitions so if so just repeat the steps so what you want to do is you want to select that partition and click the minus button right here to delete it and then it will say free space so you want to select the free space and then click the little plus button there now it will say um size so it should be on the max but just make sure it's maxed out and then on type for new partition you need to put primary location for the new partition it needs to be at the beginning of the space and then where it says uh use as you want to make sure it says external for generalizing file system or at least i think uh, that's external and then in most important mount point should be selected as a slash and that won't already be selected so just click ok and it might take a few seconds to create the partition okay that's done now and then down here where it says um device for boot uh, loader you want to select the same dev slash sdc right there and it will say the name of your device as well and then you just want to hit install now now it will say um 
it will say do you want to return to the partitioning menu you've not selected any partitions to use the swap space that should be fine so just select continue okay now it will ask do you want to write changes to the disk and all the things that will be changed here changed here it's a bit random but just click continue okay come on computer okay now it wants to know where we are so it's, don't worry it's not like it doesn't actually want to know where you are it just wants to know like your time so so about there is yeah that's the uk there london okay so now it wants you to select your keyboard layout so just select your country then it should be the top one but if you're not sure just select detect keyboard layout and then it will just tell you but otherwise click continue okay now it wants your name so oh, your name your computer's name it wants you to pick a username choose your password and confirm your password now it says do you want to log in automatically or require a um, password every time since this is kind of like a portable workstation with all your files on and you know documents or um you know programs and stuff you do probably want to not select login automatically okay so i've selected all my details now so i'm just going to hit continue okay so now it is installing ubuntu on your usb stick this may take a while if you have a slow computer um here it just kind of shows you all the things you can do in ubuntu it's a really good operating system it's probably the best linux uh distro uh yeah i'd highly recommend it so this may take a while but uh uh yeah i'll be back when it's done and also don't remove these usb drives because uh you might break them so yeah i'll be back when this is done okay i've just finished installing ubuntu on the uh this usb drive not th this one uh the 32 gigabyte one it should stay restart now and it doesn't on my screen because my setup went a bit wrong but don't worry it won't do this for you why well, it shouldn't so it don't click restart because it will just like restart into windows instead just press the um what's it power button and uh just select shut down on this menu here okay so now we've installed ubuntu fully on the 32 gigabyte um memory stick we can remove this one because we won't need that anymore just format it to restore it to normal so now i've kept this one in and we'll have to plug it in every time we want to use it so we need to turn on the computer now and press the key that we use to get to the boot pop-up menu and we'll do this every time you want to use the um ubuntu usb drive so just select the usb drive it's a uh, the different one now to what we selected before and then press enter and then it will show this the first time it shouldn't do this the second time you use this um this uh usb stick so it is now booting into full ubuntu that can be used like a normal ubuntu installation and you also can plug this into different computers and it will be like the exact same thing like all the programs you installed all the files will be the same on there and it's just shown an error but uh don't worry it's just this computer doesn't really like to run ubuntu sometimes okay so now it's booted i'm just going to enter my password and uh hold on a sec just loading up hmm. okay should load up any minute now it's a bit it's don't worry it won't be this slow it's just this computer that's a bit slow this is a a pretty old computer and it was only made to run windows xp so uh yes so 
it will be faster though if you have a USB 3.0 machine so look it's booted now into full Ubuntu you can use it just like normal Ubuntu okay thank you so much for watching leave a like and a comment if it helps and subscribe and I'll see you in another video bye